Jimmy Walker is an American actor and comedian. He portrayed James Evans Jr., or J.J., the older son of Florida and James Evans Sr., on the CBS television series Good Times, which ran from 1974 to 1979 and was nominated for a Golden Globe Award in 1975 and 1976 for his role. While on the show, his character used the catchphrase, Dino Might, which he also used in his mid-1970s TV commercial for a Panasonic line of cassette and 8-track tape players and a 2021 and 2022 Medicare commercial. He also starred in Let's Do It Again with John Amos and The Greatest Thing That Almost Happened with James Earl Jones. He continues to tour the country with his stand-up comedy routine. Jimmy Walker has an estimated net worth of $800,000 U.S. dollars. About Jimmy Walker's Early Life James Carter Walker Jr. was born on June 25, 1947 in Brooklyn, New York. He grew up in the Bronx with his mother, Lorena Walker, father, James Carter Walker Sr., and sister, Beverly Walker. His father worked as a Pullman porter, and his mother was the head of the nursing department at a hospital. Jimmy Walker attended Theodore Roosevelt High School in New York City, and through a New York State-funded program known as SEEK, or Search for Education, Evaluation, and Knowledge, he continued his studies and entered into the field of radio engineering, and he was hired by the New York City radio station WRVR. Beginning with the 1964 World Series, Jimmy worked as a vendor at Yankee Stadium as a teenager. Jimmy Walker is 6 feet tall or 1.85 meters tall. About Jimmy Walker's Personal Life According to an appearance on The Wendy Williams Show on June 27, 2012, Jimmy Walker stated he has never been married nor fathered children, but has had many girlfriends. In an interview with CNN, he described himself politically as a realist independent and stated that he opposed affirmative action, saying that it had outlived its usefulness. He also said that he was against gay marriage on moral grounds, but believed its legalization should be passed, stating it wasn't worth fighting against. Jimmy Walker described his political beliefs at length in his autobiography, Dynamite, Good Times, Bad Times, Our Times, a memoir. In it, he called himself a logicist who believes in logic and common sense, holding conservative positions on many issues. About Jimmy Walker's professional career In 1967, Jimmy Walker began working full-time with WRVR, the radio station of the Riverside Church. In 1969, he began performing as a stand-up comedian and was eventually discovered by the casting director for Good Times after making appearances on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In and on The Jack Parr Show. He eventually released one stand-up comedy album during the height of his Good Times popularity, Dynamite, on Buddha Records 5635. During Good Times 1974-1975 season, Jimmy Walker was 26 years old, though his character was much, much younger. John Amos, the actor who portrayed Jimmy Walker's father on Good Times, was actually just eight years older than Jimmy. He credits producer-director John Rich for inventing Dynamite, which John Rich insisted Jimmy say on every episode. Both Jimmy Walker and executive producer Norman Lear were skeptical of the idea, but the phrase and Jimmy's character caught on with the audience. Off and on camera, he didn't get along with the series' lead, Esther Rowe, because she and John Amos disapproved of his increasingly buffoonish character and his popularity, and he felt hurt by their disdain. Dissatisfaction led John Amos, before Esther Roll, to leave the show, making Jimmy Walker the star of the show. He was the only Good Time star to not attend Esther Roll's funeral. During 1975, Jimmy Walker was also a weekend personality on contemporary R&B music station KAGB 103.9 FM, licensed to Inglewood in the Los Angeles market. During the 1970s and early 1980s, he appeared on The Tonight Show and Match Game. From 1983 to 1984, he was a five-time panelist on the Match Game Hollywood Squares Hour. He also appeared on the 1990 revival of Match Game and various game shows during that era. Jimmy Walker has made guest appearances on The Drew Carey Show, The John Lorraquette Show, Badge 373, The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, The Larry Sanders Show, Son of the Beach, In the House, Cagney and Lacey, The Fall Guy, Scrubs, Star Dates, Everybody Hates Chris, George Lopez, Chelsea Lately, and Lincoln Heights. He also appeared in the films Rabbit Test in 1978, 
The Concorde, Airport 79 in 1979, Airplane in 1980, Water in 1985, Doing Time in 1985, The Giver in 1991, Monster Mash in 1995, and Plump Fiction in 1997. Aside from guest appearances, he starred in the short-lived television series At Ease in 1983 and Bustin' Loose in 1987. In the 1990s, Jimmy Walker returned to his radio roots, hosting shows on WHIO, WOAI, WLS, and KKAR. In 1996, he appeared on split release with power violence band Spaz, distributed by Spaz's own label, Slapaham Records. In 2010, he made a cameo appearance in the movie Big Money Rustlers, and in 2011, he appeared in a sci-fi channel movie, Super Shark. In 2012, Jimmy Walker's autobiography, Dynamite, Good Times, Bad Times, Our Times, a memoir, was published. In 2012, he announced the release of his official app developed by Monty Goulet for iOS. On May 4, 2023, he made a guest appearance on The Bold and the Beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and share this video with your friends.